Hello friends, how you all are doing today? A lot of friends have contacted me and they said that sir I am getting some AdSense error and that is earning at risk. One or more of their ads.txt file does not contain their AdSense publisher ID. So the main concern here is how can you create a ads.txt file and after creating that how can you upload that file into your hosting account or into the root file of your main website so first of all we will see like how can we create a ads.txt file that a very easy process first of all what you need to do you just need to create a new notepad file right okay like this one and name it as ads done the file becomes ads.txt but actually i already have ads.txt on my desktop you can see this one the file name is ads but the extension is .txt because it's a notepad file so let me open this and show you what is the content inside this file okay you can see google.com then publisher id then direct and then some other ids what you need to do you just need to replace this publisher id by your own adsense publisher id okay though it seems very easy because it's easy yeah what you need to do just open your adsense account like this one after logging in you can see your publisher id is here just copy this all part okay and after copying this just replace this by your own text and save it after saving your ads.txt file is ready i will give this code in the description and i have also given a post link of my blog in the description which you can follow let me show you that okay this one i have described all the things here like how can you create a ads.txt file okay and how can you upload that you can see the same code is given here okay you just have to put this code you don't have to put these codes there okay okay so i hope that your ads.txt file is ready now so the next thing that comes here is after creating a ads.txt file like this one how can you upload this file to your hosting now there are two types of hosting that mainly people use one with cpanel and one with no cpanel one with no cpanel is called wordpress hosting and one with cpanel is called shared hosting or cloud hosting you can say or other types of hosting that comes inside that so only two with cpanel and without cpanel so first of all we will see that if you don't have a cpanel account then how can you upload a ads.txt file inside your hosting for that i am taking reference of a client website which is legalhelplineindia.com so what you need to do you need to install a plugin that is wp file manager let me search that plugin here let me click on add new then we'll search that plugin you should remember that this method will work for both a uh, hosting with no cpanel and a hosting with cpanel both okay so you can see that the, i have already installed it so let me activate it after activating you can see that every file inside a cpanel can be accessed through this plugin okay oh there are some error we will uh, see that error later but for now come here and uh, go to wp file manager okay see every file that is inside a cpanel can be accessed through this plugin okay you can see that our cpanel contents are now open what we have to do now we have to upload the ads.txt here let me check it is there any ads.txt here or not you can check it by simply going to the website and then uh, putting ads.txt in the link simply see if I put this and if I open this, if this site have ads.txt, it will open that, otherwise not. You can see uh, this is something embarrassing, isn't it? Because ads.txt file is not there. So what we'll do, we'll go, we'll come here and we will upload that file. Just select that file, 
desktop then ads.txt then open okay you can see that the file is uploaded now okay come back go to dashboard now again refresh this website link with ads.txt okay at the end so you can see that now we have ads.txt file created okay so this is how you can upload a ads.txt file on your hosting which doesn't have cpanel accounts and if you have cpanel it's a bit easy process like let me uh, go through that process let me go to my cpanel i'm using into server it's a very good hosting you can also use that i have given the link in this description you can follow that also okay now what you have to do you have to find out for which sites ads.txt file is missing if you want to find that just put ads.txt at the end of the site main link and then open that if something like this opens it means that you have ads.txt there otherwise not and if there is no ads.txt just create a ads.txt like this one and upload it into your main uh, root folder of your website so we have hosting here let me go to cpanel let me go to file manager same process you have to follow and you can see that uh, in this hosting i have three or four websites like this one dubai interior dubai floorings export interior imrinteriors.com so uh, like if i have to install ads.txt on dubai floorings then i will open this folder and inside this folder i will upload that file which i have created okay just select that file and upload that once done just go on your website and see like the way floorings.com slash ads.txt and open this okay it's Dubai interior. We have to open Dubai, Dubai floorings. So you can see that we already have a Google verification code of ads.txt here. Now, the, now one thing I would like to confirm here that if inside the AdSense account, if we have three or four sites, then ads.txt file will be same for all sites. Just create a single file and upload that file in inside the root directory of a, each and every website that is connected through your adsense account so ads.txt is same for all websites which is present on a single adsense account okay and if you have multiple adsense accounts then ads.txt file will be, will be different the one thing that is different for all is the publisher id so just replace the publisher id here save the file as ads.txt and then upload in the root directory this is what you have to do and if you do so the ads.txt error or the earning at risk adsense error that is coming right now will be gone in next 24 hours when google will next crawl your site it will remove that error from your adsense account so just still create the ads.txt and upload that ads.txt file in the main directory I have told you the process of uploading in both in a cPanel account like this one or in a non cPanel account like this one where you have to use a plugin that is WP File Manager. Okay, so I'm hoping that you already have liked the video and if you have not just click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video. I am Ravi signing off right now and I will see you soon in the next video. Till then, bye bye. See you, keep loving, keep supporting and don't forget to watch the advanced SEO tutorial videos and blogging videos on my channel. Just go into the playlist and find out. Have a good day.